welcome to the world of HTML and the basics of HTML5. HTML is a computer language based on SGML. It is more of a presentation language, used to create web pages in World Wide Web. HTML is used to mark up content, to explain what that content is, and how it is related to other contents on the web page. It also helps formatting the text to decorate the web pages. HTML standards are developed under the authority of the World Wide Web Consortium. Hypertext, links within and among web documents. Whereas, Markup tells the web browser how to display a web page's text, images, sound and video files. HTML uses tags to mark up the text. Tags are instructions that tell web browsers what to show on the page. All tags begin with a less than and end with a greater than symbol. Coming to HTML5. It is the newest version of HTML. It incorporates all features from earlier versions, including the stricter XHTML. In addition to a diverse set of new tools. Note that it is still work in progress. No browsers have full HTML5 support as yet. HTML5 supports all existing web pages. Thus, there is no requirement to go back and revise older websites. It reduces the need for external plugins and scripts to show website contents. HTML5 improves the semantic definition, which is the meaning and purpose of page elements. It also makes the rendering of web content, universal and independent of the device being used. HTML5 also handles errors on web document in a better and more consistent manner. HTML5 supports associating a caption with content on your page, such as an image, video clip, audio clip or quote. The audio and video elements allow the developers to natively embed these streams in web page without the need for third-party plugins, such as Adobe's Flash, Windows Media plugin etc. It currently supports autoplay, buffering and looping, depending on the browser used. HTML5 provides API for drawing elements to the browser window, and makes it possible to create high-quality 2D and 3D in-browser graphics, which look the same regardless of the screen size. The canvas element can also be used for creating flash-quality vector animations and 3D browser components. Doc types have caused quite a lot of confusion in the past, but HTML5 simplifies the existing doc type element. Now, it is easy to use and remember. With HTML5's API, one can get access to local databases with an SQL server that's built into the client. This is referred to as a local SQL database. HTML5's session storage allows you to store session data for a single window, much like the way it was previously done with cookies. It reduces the amount of server-side queries needed. Some of the other new elements in HTML5 include the drag and drop functionality, and support for CSS3, which is a newer and more powerful version of CSS. Tools for creating HTML documents include basic text editors like Notepad for Windows, and Text Edit for Mac. Other software programs that create documents in different formats, such as Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat, include tools to convert their documents into HTML pages. This is how a basic HTML5 page looks like. Now, let's open this page in a web browser to see how it works. Looking at the source code, web visitors will be able to know the version of HTML the page was created with.